Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Invin. Today I am going to be bringing you guys a video on how to get the E-Tool the fastest in Cold War. Now the E-Tool is an absolutely fantastic melee weapon in Cold War and in Zombies. It's by far the fastest melee weapon that you can use in Cold War. And it comes with an added bonus of being able to run super, super quick with this weapon, which is super nice. And if you haven't tried it out yet, it's exceptionally fun to use, so you'll definitely want to get hands-on with this one. Now, if you are trying to do it, there's a couple of fast ways on how to do this. And I'm going to give you a quick guide for both multiplayer and for zombies, so that you guys have got the best overview and can pick whichever method you want. However, I would recommend doing the zombies method, because it is a ton easier. Even though it's quite an extreme challenge compared to some of the other melee weapons, it's worth it. And it's fairly easy once I show you this method and how to get it done quickly. If you do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you do drop a subscribe down below or push it for 2k subs so it'd be great to have you here as part of the community and if you do go on to enjoy it make sure you drop a like as well as it really does help me and the video out and let's jump into today's video so first of all here starting off with the multiplayer section of this the challenge that is required to be done to unlock this is to using a melee weapon kill three enemies without dying in 15 different matches so essentially you're going to three kill streak or more in 15 different games now obviously this can take quite a while. What I would recommend for this is either play in pure team deathmatch because this is the fastest game mode to get through or play in Nuketown 24-7 and doing a bit of lobby shopping there, you know, going in for kill confirms, going for team deathmatches, maybe dodging those hard points domination games that are going to take a little bit longer, making sure you're in the quickest modes possible on one of the smallest maps as it's going to be the easiest way for you to get those kills done. Now, this is quite a big challenge and it does mean you have to complete 15 different games. But at the end of it, it is worth it because the E tool is very, very good. Now, one thing to mention about the E tool when you do actually get it, it is a two shot kill as opposed to a one shot kill. But the speed of the melee is super, super good. And it's really, really good for zombies because it just grinds through them very, very quickly. By far the fastest in the game. So, really, really fun and definitely worth getting. Now, from perk greed, so that you've got the ability to have six perks with this, with whichever melee you're using, I would recommend using the normal knife or the wakizashi, which is the machete type weapon if you've got that one unlocked because that's the fastest melee. By the E tool in the game, but if you haven't got that unlocked yet, just use the regular knife because that's the next fastest one. And I would recommend, like I say, they're using six perks so that you've got ninja, so you're running quietly, and then you've got tracker on as well, so you can see where enemies are going. You're probably going to want tack mask and flat jacket so that you don't get stunned, and you're also not taking as much damage from explosives there. And then whichever you want on your perk too, probably recommend assassin as at least one so that people will ping up on the map and it'll be easier to get those three kills. Now they don't have to be quick succession kills; they can take a while. So if you want to play it slow and just maybe go on nuke town, go in one of the houses, wait for people to walk through and get those three kills done easily, that is going to be a quick way to do it obviously just running around the map and trying to get into their spawn when they respawn getting a three kill streak is going to be fairly easy on that so that's one of the other ways that you can do it the quickest possible way and then obviously we have the zombie side of things to unlock things now this is the method that i chose to do and it's by far the quickest and easiest it's what you'll be seeing gameplay of in the background of this video and it's basically you've got to get 50 special or elite kills with a melee weapon in zombies now again the quickest way to do this is by using the machete or if you haven't got that one just the regular knife i actually use the baseball bat because i'm recording this at the time that that has come out and that one is pretty good for getting melee kills pretty quick pretty efficient and i wanted to get the camos for it as well so i did both alongside each other and the best map to do this on is firebase zed like you will see from the gameplay you get a ton of special enemies in the manglers and the mimics that spawn in pretty much every round once you get past sort of round, round 25 round 30 ish they're every single round and in between that they're every two to three rounds as well and then you've also got the assault waves that come in where they're coming with those waves and you get a few of them there you don't actually need to get the full-on finishing blow if you are playing multiplayer as long as you hit them multiple times before they go down that is good enough and on the lower rounds if you are using the baseball bat for example or the knife or any other weapon as long as you upgrade the rarity of the weapon so you get it from red to that common level or uncommon level then to the rare then to the purple and to the gold as we go along but as long as you're upgrading that and pack a punch in it when you can you will be able to pretty much two to three hit all of the special elite zombies on this map up until about wave 15 if you've got it pack a punch once and upgraded once or twice then once you get to there you're going to need it upgraded to sort of level four or five so the purple or the gold variant with a level two or three pack a punch if you can and when you can and you'll still be able to two three four shot these zombies even up to wave 30 at which point i would probably recommend swapping over to another gun so if you've got the ray k fantastic if not if whatever gun you're trying to level up whilst you're doing this if you're not going for pure melee kills like i was switch to that gun do most of the damage there and just get the finishing blows with the melee 
I would like to get this done the fastest way possible. And 50 goes pretty quick. I managed to do about 48 of these in one game. And I played a little game earlier before that I managed to get a couple of kills in there. But you can probably do this in one game if you're able to get up to wave 35 to 40-ish in one run. You'll pretty much be able to do all of these kills in one go. Which is really, really nice. Especially if you are playing multiplayer. Because you get a ton more spawns and that sort of thing. So if you've got some friends, ask them to hop on. Jump in together. Let them grind whatever camos they're doing. Focus the melee kills on those special elite ones. The best place to do this is in the helicopter pad around the middle of the firebase. Once you go through the teleporter, you get a ton of spawns there. And it's a really, really good place to run around if you are trying to melee as well. So it's going to be really quite easy to do, to be honest. It might take a couple of games for some players. Especially if you don't want to go to as high a round. You go to wave 20, it might take you two or maybe two and a bit games to get that done. But it's still not going to be anywhere near as long as the amount of time that you'll spend in the multiplayer games. Obviously, the better you are at zombies, the quicker this challenge will be. But it's still a fairly quick challenge in comparison as well. Obviously, I would recommend using a normal gun and just getting the melee kills to finish off these special elite zombies. If you are trying to do this the fastest possible way. But, like me, if you wanted to go for camos like I did on the baseball bat, then by all means, just do melee throughout. Now, what I would recommend for this is getting tier 5 on the melees. That does give you health back every single time that you hit an enemy with this. So, it means you can take a lot more hits before you actually go down because every time you're meleeing you're regening that health also quick revive tier 5 which gives you quicker health regen and obviously juggernaut tier 5 just for all of the obvious health benefits of having that extra hp less damage from hits all that good stuff so those combined, it should be fairly easy to get most of these kills without going down. If you go down a couple of times, as long as you've got a quick revive tier 5 as well, you can just self-res, even in multiplayer, if you manage to get a kill. And obviously, once you've upgraded the bat when you're on the floor, you can just melee zombies and get straight back up, which is really, really nice. It makes this a very, very quick and easy method. Now, obviously, once you've got this tool unlocked, it's one of the quickest and fastest melees in the game. Very, very good for any of you zombies players out there that want to try this out. It's a one-shot kill for the first few rounds. Then when you upgrade it, it continues to be a one-shot, and it's by far the quickest in the entire game which is really really nice that's why the challenge for this one is exponentially harder than any of the other ones that we've got but it is definitely worth it by the end of it and for any of you multiplayer guys out there it is a two shot kill but you were able to get those two shots off at roughly a very similar speed to what you would get one knife off at so it's actually not that bad at all now hopefully this video has helped some of you guys unlock this weapon if you would like me to do a camo guard in it let me know down in the comments because that is something i can work on for you guys let you know how to get the camos the easiest for this weapon in both zombies and multiplayer other than that i'd like to thank you all for watching make sure you do subscribe to the channel with notifications bells on if you haven't done so already we'll be posting tons more content covering everything to do with cold war zombies multiplayer and war zone so make sure you stay tuned for that make sure you drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed and found it useful and other than that have a great day take care and peace